Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox and today we are going to be asking the question if Saturn became a star what would happen? Minus the voice crack of course. Now we've done Jupiter before but Jupiter is much closer to the Sun and all of our exciting parts of the solar system than Saturn. Let's see what happens if we gently nudge Saturn into becoming much much fatter. Let's just 10 times its mass real quickly. Wow. Wow, Saturn. That is, that is quite... Oh, I still have it up here from Mountain Blade. <laughs> Alright. We're at 2.99 times the mass of Jupiter. I mean, its orbit has shifted from that. It's a little bit closer to the sun, but... For the most part, it hasn't changed anything. It is going to put a little bit of attraction on the sun, mess around with it. And if it and Jupiter are on the same side, the sun will get pulled quite a bit. But other than that, we shouldn't have much of a change. But if we hit times 10 again and hit 29.9 times the size of Jupiter, we'll see something interesting. Saturn is now actually dragging the sun towards it. Which means that, well, the orbits of the planets around the sun are getting a little bit wonky. Look at Jupiter. One side of its orbit is now very, very wide, and the other is much closer because the sun is now moving quite quickly, actually. But it's going to get more interesting than that because Saturn is not done yet. Let's go ahead and increase the mass even more. Let's see if we can hit 50 without it becoming a star. 60? All right, 67 times the mass of Jupiter. Saturn is now actually pulling on the sun to a degree at which it's going to be pretty noticeable, even on Earth, I mean, the temperature swings are getting kind of insane because of the sun not, you know, the Earth's orbit's actually getting messed up a little bit by the sun moving. Um, oh wow, did, did, you see, did you see the weather? What the? Look at it! That is so interesting. The seasons are like all over the place, they're like, wee. All right, it's almost like real life now with global warming. <laughs> okay, it's it's looking good, but Saturn is still not a star. Can we make a Saturn star without catastrophic consequences? That is the question. There we go, Saturn is now a star. It's a very angry, tiny little star with barely any light. Actually, zero light. Um, it's not really much of a star, but it, it is a star, so good job, Saturn. And it looks like, oh, it's going to eat Jupiter. Oh my god, Saturn just flung Jupiter out of the solar system. F for Jupiter in the comments, please. Thanks. But the rest of everything seems pretty normal. The Earth still habitable, although the temperature is now at a steady 13 Celsius, which is about 50 Fahrenheit. It's getting quite cold. The sun is being pulled and it's causing the Earth to get further away. <laughs> oh no. You'd think Saturn would be warming Earth, but it's letting out no light whatsoever. Looks like it needs a little bit more mass. <laughs> so I guess we'll go up to 150 Jupiters. Wow, okay. Things are starting to get interesting. The sun is not happy with this and the simulation is not happy with this either it's starting to lag the sun is moving quite quickly quite quickly indeed 1.7 kilometers 1.8 kilometers per second earth is now what are we at for temperature oh it's actually still about 13.8 so it's still a little bit cold but not terrible interesting the question is how far could we push this? The answer is, I don't know. Alright, Saturn. It's time to turn up your mass yet again to 300 times Jupiter. I feel like, yeah, we're at like a third of the sun now. But the luminosity and stuff just isn't changing. It's kind of sad. I was I was hoping we'd get like a nice looking star, but it's just an angry looking star. A very angry looking star. I wonder if I can just change the surface temperature here. I just said it's like 5,000 K. <gasps> Yo! What? 
It looked normal for a second, and then it literally exploded. All right. Good job, game. Love you. Fantastic. Good work. All right, let's try this again. Saturn. Uh, we'll just set it to... 10% of the sun. All right, great. Let's try this again. If we go to surface temperature and set it to a thousand. All right. Give it a moment to starify, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on here. It's a little bit confusing. Okay, here we go. Back to a third of the sun. Average surface temperature. Can we get it to 1000 Kel- No, no we can't. What did I do before? Why is it different now? This is really quite sad. Can we hit Despacito? No, but seriously, the game just really does not like this. It's lagging out. Saturn is just throwing a fit. I mean, I get it. You didn't want to be a star, but sometimes we don't get to choose these things. All right. We'll just go to surface. Surface temperature up. No, not an option, I guess. Show water or CO2. Dude, they're a star. Why are you doing this? Oh my god, there's no temperature data. What? Why? Why is there no temperature data? Uh, th this game is really freaking out by the concept of Saturn being a star. It's kind of confusing. Like, I've done this to Jupiter before, but Saturn just does not want to play nice. Alright, we will, like, slowly and steadily turn it into a star this time, rather than doing it instantly. Maybe that made a difference. Alright. Saturn. Mass. We Alright, the we level is about to hit. It hit critical mass. Alright, here we go. 50, six, oh, 90. Bam. It's now a star. No. We just... Oh my god! Jupiter got flung so hard again. Look, look at that turn. Oh my god. It just... Whoop. Damn. All right, looks like we have no other choice at this point but to literally replace Saturn with the star. Nothing else really works. So we'll just get a star. Get a little tiny star, you know. There we go. <sighs> I will put it right. In Saturn's orbit, delete Saturn, rename this Saturn, pretend that it's Saturn. Wow, look, this is totally Saturn. Great. Fantastic. For some reason, it doesn't, like, change the object class to a star, and because of that, we don't get the star options, which is unfortunate, because the star options are fun. Alright, here we go. And this is a lot less laggy as well. We now have Mr. Star Saturn, which is messing with the sun and causing just generally a bad time. Earth now has two sunrises and two sunsets. And I mean, pretty much all of Earth is lit at one point, and part of Earth is double lit. And, you know, that's how it goes when there's two stars. Gonna have trouble sleeping now. Alright. Well. That works. Let's go ahead and increase the mass a little bit. Now it's a very angry white-blue star. Good job, Saturn. Looking good. <laughs> Looking a little bit scary there. Maybe tone it down a little bit. Alrighty. It's time. It's time to see how far we can go. Oh, this is actually quite a bit of mass we're dealing with. Half, 
half the mass of the sun. Really messing with those uh, asteroids. That's all right. Saturn protects. Definitely, it's not flinging them at Earth or anything. It would never. Saturn cares too much about us. Alrighty. Oh. Ten times the size of the sun. Nothing bad has happened yet. Thirty times the size... Okay, something. Fifty times the uh, uh, Alright, I want to see what Earth looks like. Real quick. Earth, hello. Oh. Nice. That is some dramatic lighting. You know what the funny thing is? It's just so laggy, I can't... Nothing really is happening, but at the same time, you know the world's about to end. So I've got a really creative way to end this. All we have to do is explode Saturn and see what happens, because that that is... That's where we're headed, guys. We're headed to Big Boom. Big Boom territory. Wait, where did Saturn go? Did it just disappear? Excuse me? Oh, I am so confused. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm just blind. Boo! Oh my god! <laughs> Did you see that? The, the sun just went bloop. Oh man. That is that is too good. Too good, let me tell ya. Wait, did Earth survive the supernova? How did Earth survive that? What? What? How has anything survived that? That... It just supernova How did Earth get colder? Oh. It would appear that Earth got colder after it got much, much warmer. Looks like the atmosphere and the oceans were lost, but it looks like there's still cities on the surface. So... Good job, Earth. <laughs> well, you we learned a lot. <laughs> I have a feeling an actual supernova would have destroyed everything, but that's all right. We can fix that by just doing another one. Wait, are you kidding me? Did that that? Okay, okay, there we go. Everything's dead now. Great. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. <laughs> Oh boy, big boom.